the recordings, my computer just blue screened. We got to see what got missed there, but it's possible you guys are now have now missed the first chunk of this dungeon. Uh, after slaying that first dine keg before the break, the party pushed through the rest of the dungeon, encountering maybe a half dozen of the little Corosa spiders and just slaughtering them as they went one spell at a time. Uh, eventually came upon a, uh, another chasm, another NK came across, and they are currently engaged in combat with it. So yeah, uh, Tyra, you would just cast something when, when it crashed. Yes, it when... Thunder 3. Uh, it made a touch AC for 30 points of damage. Okay. And now uh, it has to make a DC 18 reflex save, or suffer the static uh, debuff. Uh, just for reference, static. Uh, let's see. Uh, characters that are inflicted with the static. Nice. Okay, so that's for 1D. Was that 1D? Uh, let me double check because I actually have to pull up the level three. I think it's 1D8 rounds for three spell. But double check. Da -da -da -da. Actually, go back to spells. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So basically, anytime it touches a metal object. So it takes 1d6 points of lightning damage. Okay. So Anytime it comes in contact with a metal object, I'm assuming that yeah. includes swords. I would hope so. So basically any attack that like either Chef or Eleanor would do would be an additional 1d6 points of damage. And it's going... That's crazy. <laughs> uh, let's see. And it's 1d8 rounds. Okay, so I was right. Yeah. The uh, okay. person with the sword doesn't get shocked at all, I hope. So it is it is in what? afflicted with status. Oh. With uh this status okay. static. Ex static, yep. Cool. Yep, so that's good for six rounds. So. Six rounds of static. Yep. Okay. Uh is that you done? Uh that was yeah, that was my swift and my standard so Okay. Plus my move, yeah. Echo, your go. Trick. Uh, I'm here. It's your turn. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Are you here? Yeah. I I, I was. Yeah, okay. <laughs> full attack. Full attack round. Mm hmm With hate. Hasted so... bird makes makes a flurry <laughs> of of I pecks and pecks and bites I'm and just... shit. I'm just thinking of Kazooie's air attack. If anyone <laughs> played banjo. <laughs> Banjo yes. Kazooie or Tui. They is, are they are is, kind of Banjo Kazooie right now. That is a beak. <laughs> and do I still roll with full full attack for the kick? the naturals? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you're basically doing the for head your kick for back. each of your claws for uh... not so much that and another peck. How many claw eight. attacks do you get? What was oh, that? Just a kick. It's just a kick. Okay. Yeah. So you like okay, you, so then you peck you're... it, you kick it. Do you have any other naturals? Yeah. Oh, I mean, with with haste, no. you should get another peck. Okay. Yeah. Make make a make another peck then. Is it the same plus nine that I've been yes. rolling? Yeah, haste. It's yeah. it's full. Nice. I'll take that. The first two, as as you peck at it the first time, you you hit it hard, but it just stops right on the on the, the carapace. The next one, you kind of scratch at it and miss um, with your kick. And then your final one, you come back in for a peck at the same spot again. And it cracks right where you where you peck in. Go ahead and roll damage. All right, I'm just going to roll it all together. Where's all that coming from? Uh, it's a D8. And strength. I'm just you only hit him once. Yeah. No, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna shave that three off. That that the that first one that I was describing was you you didn't overcome its AC. Oh, okay, so Sorry. ignore seven just the two D eight just the two D eight plus four. Yeah, mm -hmm. ignore seven. I miss I misheard. Sorry. Yeah, that, that was my fault. So just eighteen. Okay. As you, you get a nice hefty jab into it. There. I corrected it. <laughs> <laughs> as you as you drill into it from your back, you hear Eleanor going, "Nice job!" <laughs> Way to go, Pikachu! <laughs> God damn it. 
I'm getting a front row seat to the to the show here. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> but yeah, you're with where the sight lines are. Yeah, whip as you move into the token layer. And come on in. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> All right, Vs, your go. What what came on in? I think uh, there's another one coming down the hallway. I can see another one. Um, another another big one. Big one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. About 65 feet. And there's, there's another one. I can see okay. the mandibles clicking from the darkness. Okay. It's another big one. All right. Okay, has shouted that. Should I, I should I take a quick jab at this one, try to finish it off? Yes. Okay. Would you like to try casting a God spell? God damn it! Pew! <laughs> I don't think it's I'm gonna you. knock this thing prone. Doesn't matter. <laughs> a thing. Remember when I told you about spells? How some AC? This thing probably has beefy as fuck normal AC. Crash. Touch AC. Just goblin punch him next time. Okay. Thumbs up. What's what's my penalty for my second shot? Minus five. Minus two. Minus, minus two. two rapid, okay. Rapid shot. Rapid shot. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Minus two. You are not counting the plus two you're getting from oh. Nelsong. I am not. It wouldn't I, matter I anyway. Feeling... What a plus one from haste, because she uh, is getting it. I, I, I oh shit! Count. Is she hasted? Oh, no, she hasted. Yes, she hasted. She, she <laughs> takes <laughs> another. <laughs> she takes another one at her. Got him. Not zero. Nine. Uh, it oh wouldn't matter God. anyway. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! As she just Holy pelts shit, this shitty. thing. Pew, 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 pew. And they just ping, 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 just off this thing, off rocks, like. <gasps> Nell, it's your turn. Oh, Max, is see her. Comical ricochet right. noises. <laughs> like I can technically see the head where I'm from, but does that mean that I can act, that Nell can actually um, see it, or is it just me? If you if you were to five foot step forward, you could you could you could get a, a good hit off on it. It's been it's been settling in here for a while. Yeah. Okay. See, yeah. Why the hell not? I'll requiem it. Okay. Yeah, I'd see that hits. <laughs> uh, I yes. see you sixteen and raise you sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you release, and it, it is requiemed as a foe. Right, and yeah, uh, roll a uh, fortitude DC, I believe, 15 on that. Uh, fortitude. Okay, okay. Uh, fortitude, fortitude. This is gonna be tough. Yeah, roll I know, but I... unless it gets a one, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a perfect timing. <laughs> it's... It's literally a monster trying to hit me for my AC, and as but only that one, which still technically the total would make it. And as you play your song at it, you see it just wounded by it, and it is looking rough now. Uh, yep. Is that, is that uh, you done? Freaking swift action, chatter it. Okay. Freaking okay, make your swift. Freaking Ankeg has tone deafness. What is this? Um, what's that got to beat? It's got to beat uh, it's... C, it's 10 plus CR. 10 plus CR. That just... Oh, no. Yeah, no, that's the other thing. Yeah, no, that, that beats it. That beats it by 5. By 5? Okay. Well, I mean, it can beat it just if it's 5 or more, it does extra damage. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. Alright. That's a baseline, uh, it then. It can make another fortitude save, reduce the damage by half. I'm okay. pretty sure it's the same save. Uh, do 10 plus half fourth level. That's actually an 18. It makes yeah. it. It makes it anyway. So it's roll, like roll your damage. damage. Exact same amount as recreation. Okay. Take some damage. And you, as you uh, scream into it, it just it looks back at you with with honestly fearful eyes as it comes within an inch of its life now. God. And that's the turn. If it had, if it had failed, it would have died right there. Go, Gage, your go. Is it... Is is this a part of its... Yeah. Square? You, 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 okay. you, can, you can currently bap it right there. 
I can currently bath it. Well, I'm gonna... Uh... 20. That hits. <laughs> Any of its ACs. And here goes the... What I prepared earlier. Oh boy. Womp. <laughs> and as as this thing's like looking over at Nell, like, no, There's please, no please don't. Koke just comes with an axe, just the head comes off. Just... In in the round of between its moves, <laughs> it was gonna get to earthquake next round. That's why I was dying. <laughs> Don't rest on your laurels yet. This two-month spot is on the heading up. You're okay. cut. You're cutting out. Two you more, wanna? You wanna? Two more big ones, or just just two little shits and then a big one down the hallway. Two little spiders on the roof and a big one coming down. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Eleanor, you go. Okay. Uh, Tam, what do you want to do? You want to blow up the little shits, or just let me do it? Um. How much HP have we observed? Like fifteen, like sixteen. You've like at 15 this to, at this 15, point 18. you've you've honed in on fi on fifty to eighteen being its its health range. I could do three d six to them. It wouldn't kill them. Like if you've got a a, a similar AOE nibble, we could I probably do? finish. I them could. Off. I could. It might be dangerous. I can holy explosion the ceiling. Uh, that's <laughs> <laughs> no, and then the whole but... mine caves in, and yeah, you guys the have the, the terrace explosion <laughs> from uh... fucking Kotor. Yeah. I can. Um. They'll they'll come down and they're probably gonna web us if we don't kill them now. But I've got five d four just pff, shadow damage AOE. I also have tech laser. Um. The 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 is uh 5d8 instead um but i, I mean i'm not going for ages yet i could i could cone up on the ceiling a 30 foot cone of thousand needles and that would definitely get them yeah all yeah. right so okay. you you do a wind up to take care of the next big one that comes up yeah. all right all right yeah i'm gonna yeah all right trusting you guys uh, she's going to ready her full attack. Anything that gets close to her. Okay. Eleanor readies, readies an attack. Chef, what are you doing? Can I ready a full attack? I, uh, I, d d d d d d I mean, you could you could you could delay del your initiative. You're holding it. You're like you're you're like Hol holding it. Like. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one standard action, thirty foot cone shape burst. So I'm going to five foot. Can I? I can. I can see them both on the. Yeah, if you if you, if you can see them, you can see them. They're the, not quite. The five, game is auto enforcing 10, line of sight. Fifteen. Do I do uh ten? Yeah, no shit. Five ten. 15, 20. Okay. Because they go up to the edge. And they're in the cone range of Thousand Needles. Okay. Cast they Thousand need, Needles. They both need reflex saves. Da -da 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 -da. Curse right. of Spiders. Yeah. Okay. Echo, just trig. Yeah. Just for the reference, if you bring me up to something, my action will trigger. Yeah. Uh, they both fail. And they both die. As you just spray against up against the ceiling, you just see you just pin cushion into the ceiling. One of them kind of pins there, the other one and just falls. That was that was the last of the thousand needles. Okay. You you hear down below you just uh Oh hey look! Hey look! That's the one I got before! <laughs> the dead one up it. there, yeah. I fucking sniped it from oh, back there, yeah. Just blind shoot into the darkness. Yeah. Alright, is that your turn done? 
Um. Yeah, that's me. Okay. It is dead. It is dead. It is dead. <laughs> it is Tyra's turn. <laughs> <laughs> And all three of those were my kills. How about that? The thing is, even if I move, <laughs> Jeff, is there anything within range for me to attack? Uh, you you could you could shout that out to Chef. Hey, Chef, is there anything within say forty feet of where Eleanor is standing? Let's get out the little fucking oh, where Ellen is standing. Oh no. Nada. Okay. You could you could move and hold. Stack. You could move and hold a spell. That's true. I could do that. Um. Okay. Um. You also can stand back here if you want to be have a good good sight line, but you don't want to like be up in the fray. You can kind of get up on yeah. the, the corner of those rocks. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's move. Yeah. Let's move behind there. Okay. Right. You kind of nestle yourself against back to the wall there. Yeah, and then I will hold my other actions, I guess. Technically, I could I could swift Shouldn't... into shore strike. Shouldn't I could somebody swift... get some light out? <laughs> like the two people in the party that don't have dark vision. <laughs> that are, they can really only effectively shoot at stuff that's like right next to them. <laughs> I mean, I, there's no way I, yeah, I couldn't fish out the campfire bead as a... No, not unless, a not unless, like, yeah. you've got it in a fucking wrist holster. Actually, yeah, because Echo can't see in the dark, right? Oh it's my god, scary. that would be... Campfire would be bead great. and spring holster. The assassin. Because <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't... I mean, that I could actually the, really come in handy. The Ifrit torch, oh. but how, how far does that uh, show? Um, that's it's the that, normal torch. That would be considered so, as, as per I, torch. That's a uh, thirty foot. No, thirty foot total, fifteen foot 40. radius, right? I swear it's. Mm. What's the range I of that torch? torch is actually pretty big. I'll 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 check. Just keep okay, going. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Anything I can really do here? Uh. You know what? I will probably just hold my swift and standard then. Because there's nothing else I can really do. This. Uh, for shits and giggles, Tor actually, what, what's, uh, what's it? Because, well, actually, what I could do is swift action into shore strike and hold the the blizzard one spell. Yeah. A torch creates a uh, normal light in a twenty foot radius and increases the light level by twenty by one step for an additional twenty feet. So, uh, for, for, in the for twenty foot, light. yeah, in the in the twenty foot bubble, it's normal light. Mm -hmm. And in past next... that, it would be dim light, which for Vs with low Is light vision needs, yeah. would would give her sixty feet. Yeah. Could I tell Vs just just to torch out of my pack then? <laughs> She's holding sure. a bow. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm holding a bow too. Yeah, she can she can those. she can on her turn uh, a full round through your oh, through your backpack. Tyra, do you have any? Toss it on the ground or something. Cons considering that. We've got the light, the the dynamic lighting going already, and dark vision has just been extending the vision. Mm. I'm not sure if we should even really be fussing with it. With, with it, with the dynamic light. I mean, surely you can, you can create a light giving object I can. in the system, though. So, like, that shouldn't be too hard to... Your own, to your own echo, do you guys have any light cantrips? What was that? Do you guys have any light cantrips? I do not. All I have is read magic, detect magic, and ele okay. uh, elemental orb. Uh, but, okay. but to pretty much like resolve my my uh, my turn here, basically move with uh, swift action to uh, shore strike and then hold the blizzard one spell. Under the assumption that something will get close enough for me to actually strike it. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Echo, your your go. Okay. Okay, so if I can bring and move. One. Sorry. Hit. Hmm. 
<laughs> and be on top of this. Like, is it? Is it? Yeah. Here, let me uh, do back as you all just stomp all over this poor creature. <laughs> Okay. Would it be possible for me to get a running start from here? Yes. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> Not again! Hold on, Doggo! Which... God I don't know if that's a good idea. You you run on this way, you run on this way. No, I'm gonna... If you go to pull back, I'm gonna just kind of kick you and say, No, no, don't, please. <laughs> If you if you if you jump in front of it, you're just getting a goodbye chocobo. Like Don't run in and take a full round of this thing. What what you guys up to? Um I don't want Echo to jump. Please don't. Stay here. I'll hold my action then. Or and wherever you wanted to stand over here. <clears throat> where or where was I? Was I right, right here? There. Yeah. Right there. I'll just... and wherever you okay. want to move to over here. I guess we'll just I'll just I guess I'll just hold my my attack action then it's just just I don't know what to do. Okay. I, I would I've moved already. I, so. I would Okay. Okay. Anything else you want to do? I just said I don't know what to do. Okay. So I'm holding my action. Um, I just. Okay. So is are, that you done? Are you actually? Are you actually holding an action? Or are you delaying your turn? I guess I'm delaying my turn. When when do you want to delay it to? After the creature moves. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> your 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 turn slides back. Um. Shit. There's a chef right there. As this thing comes, does the, a similar kind of barrel roll, and is inverted up on the ceiling. <laughs> Let me find a good home for it. To front, please. As it's inverted up on the ceiling, down above Chef. Shit, can it? That technically it would range of me. Go ahead and make make your 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 spell. Da -da 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 -da. <clears throat> oh yes, it can. Oh god. Uh, one d twenty plus five plus analysis two. I feel like it can hit me with this giant wall there. <laughs> so it leans like right, right in front of Koke. Twenty-four touch. Uh, twenty-four touch hits. Twenty-six plus. Sixteen, and as you said, that's double damage. So mm -hmm. twenty thirty-two. And, okay. Uh, to make save a, to freeze. Needs to make a strength. Uh, needs to make a fort save of fifteen or be frozen. Okay. Which I'm sure will. I'm sure it will. Do. Fort save fifteen. Fort save fifteen. Yeah, unless it gets a one. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it like, almost basically has a roll of three or basically has a roll of two or less. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and it takes your your 32 points of cold damage as it just squeals at you. Is that they, is that everyone who's prepared an action up to that up to its the end of its move? Yeah. Because as it reaches its termination point here on the ceiling, and it looks down at Chef and it looks down at everyone deep down there, and it just you watch it as it's kind of holding onto the ceiling, just start to pump its arms. Oh no. And the entire cavern starts to shake. And the ground beneath you starts to shake. And you all are hit by an earthquake. Oh, As the God. first time that this thing's come off cooldown within enough time for one of these things to actually cast it. Jesus Eleanor Jesus. is technically off the ground. I'm still riding you, though, and getting shaken. I am 25 <laughs> feet away. Haha. <laughs> from, from its center. What oh, shit, you're right. Center. From its center. Okay, yeah. Um, as as you all stand there and are shaken, I need a 
reflex save from all of you. Except for Koke okay. and Tyro. Yeah, not then Tyro. Right. Hang on. Hooray! Because I was about to use Cat's Luck to see the re to roll advantage right. on Reflex. Don't forget, you get a plus one to uh, uh, Reflex DC 18. Right. DC 18. Keep track if you if you make it or not. Damn it! You're kidding me. <laughs> Ugh. Nope. Oh, no. Well, you're riding me, so maybe I'm this on Echo, but yeah, I'll probably get thrown off. You... <laughs> da 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 da. Double check. Well, you make this. it. I don't know how that would work then. <laughs> I mean, you're you're <laughs> on me. So, and this being an earthquake of all things, I think. If you if you made it, take half. If you failed, you take twenty nine points of damage. Because okay. it's magical, though. So yeah. Like... Um. In fact, could I go ahead and get a ride check from Eleanor? As you as the two of you are being tossed around, and Echo stabilizes pretty well, but you're just like, oh god. Well, okay. that puts me in LB range for all it's worth. Yeah. If I had not made that, I would be at 2 HP. Uh, uh, so since we 12, didn't have to yeah. you, we're not you stay by on. Either. You stay on. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Koke and Tyra, you, not, you didn't get hurt at all. Okay. Uh, da 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 da. Fletch with the weighted status. Okay. Any Also, anyone who failed, you have the weighted status. As I very quickly try to figure out what the fuck the weighted does, status is. I, I'm uh, still questioning, does that still apply to Eleanor being... Actually, where's, uh, does I mean, the beast have yeah, the reflex as well? I would assume. Rock step and rubble it into the character, making it difficult to move. Characters that are inflicted with this status have their movement speed reduced by 5 feet. In addition, the character cannot run or charge. Water spells oh. and effects can wash okay, away the status that effect. <laughs> that's kind of funny. But yeah, How convenient it, that I don't have to use my legs right now. Yeah. <laughs> That it, it has come up, it has AoE'd you, it is Echo's turn. As you uh, delayed your initiative. Okay. What you doing? Ah! Okay. That hurt. Right. You you I'm could get... Yeah, you could get Eleanor up to it. Yeah, I'm gonna move below it, like right here. And mm -hmm. Just right. do a vertical jump. Okay. Well, I think it's... Is it leaning down enough to hit it's, it? Or it's it's no. leaning down enough that you, you can attack it from, from an upright standing position. Echo, you may have to make a small hop to peck at it, but... It's, you know, up above you in, in that space. And Eleanor, you're yeah. still writing Echo, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. All right. So if your ready to action was yeah. to full round attack, go for it. If I if I'm allowed to do that, yeah. I'd, for it. I'd well I'd say I'd say you can you can make a standard a regular attack. That's that's okay, what uh, that's, fine. that's what ready to ready to action can get you. Otherwise, okay. you can delay your initiative. You really want to make a full round attack when when it comes up to you. Well, I already had a ready chop. I might as well take it. Okay, I'll do a hop and beak attack. Mm-hmm. Okay. And as uh... as Echo charges in and just pick Eleanor, you also wink. <laughs> okay. And Echo glances off at Eleanor. Even even with a, a twelve, you're striking true. Yeah, just cleave into this thing. <laughs> with its right. twenty-two fucking AC. <laughs> With Nell's encouragement, so, take this. Oh, we are just in that. And as you cleave at it, you just wonk right across its belly, like right under where its neck is, and just. Well, it, it's back. It's yeah, it's back because yeah, it's inverted. Yeah. <laughs> Ellen wiggles up in there with that roll. <laughs> All right. Is that, is that you you done echo and is that your reaction handled uh, Eleanor? Yep. Okay. I will, I will actually I'll use a swift to mm -hmm. lay on the hands. Okay. Yourself. Okay. Yourself well, no. or or chef. You can't swift swift other people. It's just you. Oh. Even if you're on top of me. It, yes. No. If if it if it says only only self then it's only self. Okay. No, it's fine. It was, not, I, I, it was not written with the intention of a player not being it was not. <laughs> it was not written with the pretext of being ridden. Uh, yeah, just patch yourself up a bit. Alright. Alright. And you, you, you heal a little. <laughs> it is Visa's turn. She kind of glances at Koke. Goblin punch? Go for it. Okay. <laughs> a 
believe oh my god, you. knock it prone and just fling it down into the abyss. That's that's that is the the dangers of flight slash uh climbing on shit for combat is is be, is becoming prone and just falling. A range touch attack, come on. Okay. Can you do it? And her the four plus dex four. Four. It's more the seven plus seven. The saving throw more well, what 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 all buffs does she have? Uh, haste and song. So that's yeah. plus three. Plus an three. extra three. Okay. Yes. As she reaches out with her blue magic and hick. Wait 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 wait. Yes, that does clear touch AC. <laughs> yes. All right. There's the big moment though. Okay. And it it has to make a what save? A will save or? Fort save. It is a fortitude save. It is going to be spell level plus her intelligence mod plus one because she's got obscure spell mastery. Okay. It needs to intelligence make the save mod call three. Gently. It will have spell to roll level very one. Low spell for this, but... It's like what five, ten? So it's like fifteen, right? You can yeah. check my math on that. One, two, or three. Yeah. Two. Holy oh, shit! <laughs> What? Oh what? My God. <laughs> How far it does falls. it fall? How far it does it fall? It. it falls gently. You okay. Have mind, low gravity. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that's true. That's yeah, that's um, true. The as low, but still. as Vise runs up and just oh, that's great. Kind of puts her bow at her side and reaches out with one hand and just and then big goblin hand just apparates and boop. And the thing just like what? Oh, oh no! Stumble, stumble, <laughs> falls off the ceiling. Perceps that doesn't quite accelerate as quickly as you'd expect. Is it? Can I can I take an attack of opportunity as it is slowly? Actually, falling yes, past? sure. <laughs> as <laughs> as it off? outside of its own desires flees away out of your <laughs> occupied squares. Like sure. Oh, it's prone, yeah. so it takes the penalty. <laughs> I yeah. want to as well. Yeah, no. If if you if you were in range of it, it is considered to be too. exiting your threatened squares. Oh my so. god! And just everybody swings. Is it considered flat-footed for sneak attack? Um, Wait, it's prone. Just just prone. Deny prone your. I uh, you've you've Wait, got you've prone, got your thing. Prone would. Does like... prone deny it? It's it's. I guess it doesn't really. It doesn't matter. It's it's fucking. It's all of its armor is in its natural basically. Uh, yeah. If it loses its dex, it would be AC twenty. That's better. <laughs> okay, nice as Eleanor <laughs> as Eleanor rerolls with reliable and crits it. Um, Echo it's... Echo pecks at it, just not quite striking true. As Chef and Eleanor Do... both cleave it. Do I get the sneak attack die? Um, I um on account of I'm denying its dex to its AC right now. Technically, yes. Well, dead. Nice. <laughs> it survives right, that. I, I go. I go into danger zone of three HP. All left. right. Mm -hmm. As ice crit. as you see, Chef just wind back with this dark <laughs> cloud and just cleave at it, and it's just <laughs> as it's slowly falling into this abyss. And Eleanor, like it's still alive, and you're like, no, 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 Eleanor, you take your swing. How do you want to do this? <laughs> Probably chef, chef would stab it, and then she would just kick Echo to turn her to the side, and then just, like, uppercut through its body on the way down. Okay. And as it falls into your blade, and you swing your blade up into it, through its full head and a good chunk of its upper body, this thing is turned... It, it turns into a forked, you know, hand keg. I would, I would say it is pretty forked. As it's, as it's <laughs> partially halved body... Descends at you know 4.2 meters per second per second, slowly just <laughs> slowly into the into the abyss. Hmm. And after about a second, you just hear, and then you hear just a chorus of <laughs> down like okay. echoing back up from it. under there. <sighs> So, anyone want to check these crates for eggs? Since these might be the crates they're talking about. Uh, da, 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 and, and... I would like to be able to cast cure first. <laughs> well, do that. Someone else can look. 
Uh, my regular just. Alright. Give, uh, give me the creepy. Yeah. Creepy music back. I excitedly <laughs> for eggs. Swoop, swoop to V's and just pick her up and do a little spin. Like, I'm just excited. She did it! She fucking did it! Like, she got the spell and it was so That was good. like mostly all me. <laughs> As yes! everyone just cast all their yeah. heals. Which, by the way, yeah, like, cumulatively between the knights taking their murder strikes on it, doing like a hundred points of damage. I kiss her. I kiss her on the 34% perception. Yeah. yeah. And as... Go as... to crates for the eggs. Okay. Uh, crates for the eggs. Which which crates are you looking at? This uh, pile of crates it's... here? Yeah. Okay. Um, you guys glance through here. Uh, a lot of these crates are kind of broken down with wood. Uh, a lot of them are labeled... Uh... A lot of them are labeled Levistone Corporation. You're peeking inside, there's... There's mining implements, there's drills, there's uh, some axes. It's mostly magic stuff. <laughs> uh, Nell's gonna check the uh, crates over here. See, already okay. rolled nineteen into that. You 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 find similar stuff. You you get the impression these these crates have been here for longer than this has been a problem. That these were okay. left here mid working. And She's after. Gonna go ahead and... hmm? okay. After after a few moments of of cocaine, Vs making out, Chef comes up and fist bumps Vs. Just like, ow, oh, ow. <laughs> the, fist, hands. the fist turns into into a into a thumbs up. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, sure. And she gives you a thumbs up back. I put it down. She's gonna <laughs> she's gonna hop off Echo. <laughs> you dismount the burb. Well done, princess. <laughs> blushy, blushy. <laughs> also, Echo, putting a hand on you, you're getting healed. For that matter, everyone's getting healed because I passed Hivara to Hivara. <laughs> oh, how much am I getting? Uh, so that's an additional. That's that's ten, I do believe. Hi, right, back to full. <laughs> Black 10. Okay. I have not that's... hit at all, so. Well, it's going to be ten to everyone I'm not in range. Not range. As as per as per usual, chef all like chef ends every combat at like single digits, but all the damage is from herself. <laughs> yeah. There there is there is a toll to be paid for the for your damage output. Uh huh. Yeah. That's what makes it fun. <laughs> my next, my next move, if it wasn't for the for the goblin punch knockdown, which fucking hell, that was amazing. I'm it so was proud of that. Yeah. She had so to... proud of Will, it. Will had to roll a one, a two, or a three, and it rolled a two. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, like the I odds, guess... like the saves against V's are not hard. With a plus twelve to its fort save. She like, did it though. We I'm do so still have a problem of hundreds of little ones, mm -hmm. probably. That's that's an acrobatics check to to jump the gap. To run, to sort oh. of running jump gap. Oh yeah, they probably should have brought that up to you. Eh, whatever. <laughs> it it occurs to me that none of the Moogles thought to bring up something important. I'm sure it won't it won't matter. I'm sure twenty seven easily. Yeah, no, you it. echoed without even un unencumbered by by her rider whoop, leaps across the gap. Are these the eggs? Uh you look hey, at you look at these. There's it's a bundle of glowing crystals. Um, they kind of have a, a very fine gleam to them. Um, like, there's some value in there, but you echo with no concept of money, have no idea. We should probably, I don't know, take those back with us. We secured the crate. Give us As a bonus. Koke glances into the corners. That's perception checks. A heavy, heavy, hefty perception check. Um, Koke, with that perception check, you, you notice in this area here, where there's, like, uh, radials cut, that looks like it's something's been buried there. 
I'm gonna swoop right. down and have a look. <clears throat> Low gravity, can't I just like take a ten on these jumps? Um, if if you if you if you if you give yourself the the t free time here, you can you can take a ten. But for the sake of on a uh, on a round by round actions basis, you kind of have to roll because you, I mean you, you 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 you're taking riskier footing because like you're going right now. There's no like okay, well I'm gonna fucking measure this out and brush it off yeah. and really. Tens, yeah. tens don't take any longer than a normal action. Well, see, it's the, the issue the issue with jump checks is then it's always it's always better to 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 take a ten with jumping, because it's just you can't you it's just you can't in combat. Yeah. yeah. Or if you're if you're Taking under a or if you're in a if you're in a chase scene, you're under yeah. duress. Well, that's that's, yeah. that's what I mean by yeah. on a on a round by round basis. All, yeah, yeah, but all... we're are we? <laughs> um, okay. As as you kind of scuff away at it, you find the top of a chest. Looks like looks like someone has buried something in this corner. I'm gonna open it. Okay, you you push the rest of the dirt off the spiders. top. Spiders. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> and it erupts the spiders. Uh, you 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 kind of scrape 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 and you pop open the top, and within you find. Did it? Oh no! Dungeon broke. That had the loot in it. Uh, I've got to refresh oh, no. it. Well, new loot. Is it just? Oh, I hate this quantum loot as it, system. As you just you open you open it up and you hear the the Mario Kart. Mm. The, just the little loot box just. And what happens is he opens the chest and then see ninety k's. <laughs> oh wow! I sure can't cases. wait to get. <laughs> Reroll. Rerolls. Okay. Okay. Um, glancing through here. You find a few things. You find a deep blue spinel worth 400 gil. Oh, you okay. find a hat of disguise. Do you want to just... Oh. Oh, shit. I should totally have that hat of disguise. No, fuck you, I want it. Okay. Uh, you find... Spinel is left, real quick? Uh, 400 gil. Okay. You find a potion of Galka's strength. You find... Okay. Uh... Uh, quick thing. I'm assuming this isn't this isn't uh FFD20 based random generation. I've I've, I've gone I've gone through the FFD24 stuff, but their magic items are trash. This, the what I mean is, if it's a potion of bull's strength, it yes. would be Kolka's strength lesser. Okay, then it's the, then it's just the lesser the, version. The plus four. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah, then it would be lesser. Alright. So yeah, you um you find the potion of potion of Goku strength. Um you also find a liar. Did I mention the six hundred gil? Mm. You also find six hundred gil. Okay. A liar is in the instrument. As in the instrument, not as in the man. You pop it open, and this is a dude just head like you're all oh, no. fucked. Oh, no. <laughs> <Try me. laughs> Oh no, I am the culprit. You found me. I have been hiding here for one year. Okay. I do not know why I'm Armenian. I'll pocket all of the stuff. <laughs> Including the liar. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna keep it, hold of that and fly back it, over. Is it named Mike? <clears throat> uh. Okay. Yeah, and as, oh, as Echo think... pretty effortlessly leaps across these gaps and into a dead end. <laughs> Nell. What? Here, take this. It's a liar. Uh. Okay. Perception for this little. You glance around in, in the in the corner. You don't seem to find anything out of the ordinary. It's a lot of rocks and some uh, melting wood. Some rot. You know, I can figure, like, is this just a regular liar, or can I like do some type of? Check uh, on you it? can you can spellcraft it to see if it's if there's any enchantments or anything. It looks very well made. Would be a flat. Roll In fact, not not just it. not just very yeah. well made, made largely of gold from the look of it. Oh no! Oh no! Please tell me that's a liar of building. Oh my god! Uh... If that's a liar of building, you are putting points in perform strings. That is like the best item. 
Um, as, as Echoes just leaps and searches and leaps and searches. Yes, pretty not even coming under a 25 in there. Just boop, 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 boop. Is that your spellcraft? I mean, yeah. Also, uh, take a 10 on Sam, my uh, violin is string. So that plus oh, 16 I have is perform string. My god. I will take a 10. 26. What does that tell me about life? <laughs> okay. Uh... I'm, I'm it really is my quickly, favorite wondrous item. I'm checking my the DCs for, the for identifying right, things. Right, right, da, 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 da. Magic item. Fucking where the hell are you? Do you remember the purpose of magic item? Why won't you give me a DC though? <laughs> Make your own. Yeah, yeah. Here, da, 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 da. look at this, look at that. Uh. Yeah, that, that's actually probably a good idea. I'll do this. I'll do that. Um. So yeah. Uh. Fucking ten. I'll just do ten plus CL. Uh. Nell, you you're not sure what it is, though. You get the immediate impression that it is magic. Uh. Kokay. Um. My seventeen was for the for for the liar. The thirty one is to to work out if this is a hat of disguise, lesser or greater. Okay. Um. Da -da 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 -da. Tiro the Tiro with your taking a 10 and Koke with your 17, you both glance over this thing, follows kind of the, the magics in it, and you you discern that this magical instrument, usually made of gold and inlaid with numerous gems, if the proper chord were to be struck, a single use of this lyre could negate any attacks made against inanimate construct walls, blah, 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 blah. It's a lyre of building. Oh. <laughs> That is that is the effects of that of, of the thing. Lyre is also useful in respect to building. Within a once a week, lyre can be strummed to produce cores that magically construct buildings, mines, tunnels, ditches, etc. Produced in thirty minutes of playing is equal to a hundred human hours of laboring. And, you, oh, and as long as you as long as you keep as long as you keep playing. Oh no, that's not a hundred. Keep... That's not a hundred man hours. That's a hundred humans laboring for three days. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Liar why do you think great. it's my? Why do you think it's my favorite item? <clears throat> Liar, uh, my, Liar must my make lich. a DC 18 perform string instrument check. It was one of the my, it was one of the things that Dungeon generated today. My lich, it, well, soon to be lich, has just enough points in perform strings that he can take a 10 and beat that DC and just play forever and make his fortress of death. I was trying to figure out how learning how to play a violin helps you string a little mini harp thing, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> it's it's perform strings. That's... Music music theory is yeah. a little universal. Once you figure out where the chords yeah. are, like I think they're both four time. stringed instruments, right? I think. Mm, harps, harps, and lyres can be. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I don't more. know. I don't know about lyres. You're right. Lyres might be. Ah, oh, yeah, no, layers got fucked up. No, but some of these have have only four or five. I guess it's, it's variable. It's variable. You understand music theory, you understand string instruments, it's fine. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing these things have anywhere between, like, five and, like, 20 strings, so... <laughs> mm -hmm. Most of them have five, though. So that's not that bad. I've uh, seen I've seen like a two person harp with like fifty. Yeah, those are nuts. Yeah, that's that's not really like <sighs> at that point. That is two harps. That isn't like <laughs> that is two discrete harps that somebody built all at the same time. Yeah. Okay, did you see anything over there? The liar. <laughs> okay. What's my thirty one say on the how to disguise? Uh, how to disguise? No. It appears to be a standard how to disguise. The the lesser variant, not the ah, not the the greater, shit. not a greater how to disguise as per uh, alter self. And Does this it... hat. And the what? Does it oh, say what? Um... I said I found the liar. Ah. Uh, this uh... hat's this hat's bad. Okay, and a hat. Okay. <laughs> We've gotten all of them. I'm just a little concerned about all the noise down there. <laughs> the funny thing is, that wasn't the only magical musical instrument that, that Dungeon made this dungeon. You guys missed the other one. <laughs> Could I... hold on to the hat? Sure. Here you go. I will add that to my inventory. I'm going to fly after Echo. Okay. Yeah. Okay, flies off down the tunnel. 
Everyone else, you all making jump checks? You teleporting? What you doing? There's a big old hole. I'm not too... Like, what can we see down there? Just shadows of movement? Um, do you have dark vision? Yeah, depending on how much I can really see. 60 feet. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Those, those with dark vision peering over, you see a kind of sprawling field of... Um, large, ovular things, probably about two feet to, to four feet tall in a field with small creatures kind of crawling along the tops of them. 27s will get me across these. Yeah. Yes, yes. Don't suppose so. anyone has, like, any oil. We could just basically just roast these. <laughs> that would be a good idea. You also see that check. these these lower areas check seem to interconnect one. down below. Please yeah. roast and they could probably hide. Yeah, Tiro could just throw a fireball um, down there. I have no AOE based one, so it's gonna be meh. If I had fire, it would be kind of nice, but I don't. have burning arc, although that might be a little bit. I have cold. burning arc, but at most it's only gonna hit three targets with damage drop off, so. Detonate? No, wait, detonate, you have to have a. Uh, detonate Ooh. technically could work, but uh -huh. once Good job. I had to hit the enemy, Whoop. it has to fail the reflex save to get the burning status, and then I can use detonate. Uh -huh. As V feels very lucky today, and just boop, whip. The question is, from this vantage point, can I kind of see where that is? And see where what is? See like the other end, because pretty much I want to be able um, to. Um, I will. If I have the time, I'll actually swoop yeah, back no, over. Yeah, no, you, you you can you, um, you can you can see and you can hear where they are to the point no. that okay. yeah, you could probably blink over. Give me oh. the, the the torch, the the. the... The statue. Yeah, I hand okay the effort. I'm the idol. light, and I will stand here with it. Like here is land for you. <laughs> well, pretty much I can pretty much go right. Yep, what is the yeah. Point? All I right. Well, I will fly right over here. here. Here is land for you. Yeah, I will so... be torch. We do have right. more enemies. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh. All right. Who wants to ride the purple smoke express? <laughs> Purple Smoke Express. Uh, uh, considering Eleanor uh, probably has a worse acrobatics, I'll I'll try to leap it. Oh God. Yeah, she has a fantastic acrobatic score of minus one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> might... yeah. Yeah. Come here. Like, yeah. yeah. Just grab. Uh, a little, keep your arms and legs it... in the right at all times. Um, oh. is that just because you have eight decks or? Uh, she has no points in acrobatics, and she has two decks and her minus three armor. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. Oh god! Oh dear. Oh, oh no. And oh. scrolling this over. This is what I didn't want to do. I knew I was going to roll a fucking one. Okay, were you, you said you diving across. I had no way to go but jump. Okay, as, oh, as no. you wound up and started making your jump. You, in the last step, you jump just a hair too late and you catch on the lip and it, the dirt under you just kind of crumbles and whoop, you slip, Shit. slip head back, feet forward, and you tumble forward into the, into the crack. You do fall pretty slow in case anyone Maybe wants can... to do anything. Eleanor, if you're I still there, you could, I... you could reflex to, to try to grab her. She's, she's I'll gone because they, they teleported with Dada. Uh, did both, I did, did not both complete the... Oh, we're still I here? Did... <laughs> I was about to jump when you guys were about to teleport. What was that? I said I was about to jump when you guys were about to teleport, so you guys should okay. technically still be there. Eleanor, go ahead and make go ahead and make a reflex. And Tyro, if you're kind of on that ledge, you could also try to make a reflex. Yeah. Uh... As as you all as you're all like, oh like we'll just blink across and they'll just pop, 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 like I got this. No <laughs> and Eleanor just <laughs> hair stands up and just catches you like it just is at that moment where like as your feet go out from under you and you think you're falling forward in, just hand plunk, scoops you and <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just gonna sit here. <laughs> okay. We we can get Koki to take you. Oh yeah, you can try it. <laughs> <sighs> it's light. What is this burb yep. next to me? I'm 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 creating an idol to use for for fog ah, of war. Okay. All players see light. Honestly, I will take a crit on that. <laughs> 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 I 
I mean, I always could have jumped down a deep door route. Yeah, but there's spiders and whatnot down there. I have AoEs. Ah! ah. Stretchy bird. <laughs> this, that, that bird that bird generates light. Here, I'll give Coco control of it. As you hold you your, your idol of Ifrit. Don't be deceived. It's Ifrit the bird form. You know of it, right? <laughs> the elusive bird Ifrit. As it's searching... Searching through uh, roll 20 for idol. That's the first result. Okay. What you guys up to? Did you end up teleporting okay. across or what? Uh, yeah, I'm going to teleport across with Eleanor. Okay. Okay. Then make your teleport and, and move, move you tokens. We'll have to go grab either warp back or have um, okay do it either way. Um, I I'm not trying that again. <laughs> uh, so with my with my tens, I'm gonna whip, whip. How heavy is Nell? Uh, <laughs> how heavy is Nell? Counting gear. Let's see. Two seventeen. Two seventeen. Uh, Mewback is. Eight higher. We're still in the minutes of Golka's strength, so I have twenty-six strength. Yeah, I think you're good for the purposes of carrying capacity. Um, right. da -da -da. Thanks, you. Just a quick, quick check at yeah. I mean, we'd be in we'd be in medium load, but I'm already taking worse from the armor check penalty anyway. Do you want to lift? Yes, please. <laughs> You get hefted up onto Chef's shoulder. Do not get used to this. As you are slung over the shoulder, damsel in distress style, and oh. whip, whip, <laughs> and put down. Well, that was humiliating. Don't worry, I won't ask that again. No offense to you. It's just the whole you know, I, tactile thing. I understand. <laughs> We're gonna have to go through this again on the way back. Oh boy. Uh, what was this weird? No, wait. We're... You might run into something else. Never mind. Oh, speaking of which, there's a spider there. Mm hmm. <laughs> Squeak. <laughs> no, no, by all means, please continue with adventures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're friendly spiders. <laughs> Don't mind <laughs> us. <laughs> Roll a bluff, friendly spider. I will detect bullshit. <laughs> and as 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 you all land, I think Trig got pulled away with a. Yeah, with I a heard. Bird. I heard background people. No, I'm oh, here. Okay. okay, there we go. Oh, okay. Um, as as you all kind of rest there for a moment and settle yourselves, like, whew, okay, got all that. You turn, and there is a corridor downhill, just step, 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 descending. That's just spiders all staring at you. And in that moment, I need initiative rolls. <laughs> For the love of God, come on! Did you roll another bad one? Fucking eight plus one is nine. I'm not gonna above a ten. Hey, it's not. God, it's not so good. bad if everyone rolls bad on initiative. What if the spiders don't? Well, then we're fucked. Except not really, because they're yeah. CR twos. The like... funny, the funny thing is, is whenever anyone hits enter to to put in their initiative, it clears anything else that anyone's mid typing. Yes, that has been happening to me the entire mm -hmm. fucking night. Mm -hmm. When well, we got this much shit in an initiative counter, that is just a nightmare. <laughs> and the idols the in there. initiative is inputting our initiative. Oh shit! Yeah. The oh, idol has initiative. Oh shit! <laughs> Fucking hell. These it's fucking the spiders! They're rolling really? 19 and 12! Oh, except for that one. <laughs> they are they are ready to go. These spiders. Well, we have just been fucking around for a while. <laughs> yeah, get out of here, okay, idol. What's a... We have three people who have a 22.03. What happens there? They just all go at once? Uh I will <laughs> I will turn these here, I'm gonna go. One, two, because simultaneous turn thing isn't a thing in Pathfinder. Um, they're they weren't 
20, they weren't all three 22. They were 22 and a 23. Did I, but did I it'll still work out this okay, way anyway. It'll up. still work out this way anyway. Okay. Oh wait, no, 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 no. That one was the one. I got it. I got it wrong. No. That one. There you go. That one. Yes. Now, now they will properly spider in order. Everybody settled and descending. And Eleanor's up first. Let me cycle it over here to. So much. Oh, Even with how oh, few songs more? I have, there's just so many songs in the fucking jukebox. Just yeah, scrolls for days. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna have to back on the just, whole uh, inspire curse. I'm running out of uses. <laughs> yeah. Just um, just make some make some playlists and use them as folders. Yeah, no, that's that, that's, that, that's that's what I've been doing it, but it's still a lot to scroll. Mm-hmm. Let me make sure that it's uh, all over here on the stream. Come on, buddy. Is this all relatively level terrain? Um, you you would have you would have a I would I would require an acrobatics check to charge down it because it's drop offs of about um, a foot and a half. All right. All right. I'm just I'm popping my AOE attack. Okay. So I don't know if this is like technically this is all within twenty feet. Yeah, no, it's for 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 the for radials for radial concurrency. Yeah, that's it's considered essentially level. Okay. All right, all right, another holy explosion then. I'm slamming her, digging her sword into the ground, and they all get hit by holy. Okay. <laughs> so DC. Just flip, flip, uh, swing, boom. Yeah, eighteen reflex save on all three of them. Reflex. No wait, not eight, not plus eighteen. <laughs> plus four. Plus oh four. That one doesn't make it. That one's a sixteen. That one also doesn't make it. That one does though. That one does. Okay. First two, first two fail it. Alright. So um, boom. Is that have for have half of that. So these first two, as 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 Eleanor flip flip stab, boom! <laughs> this Spider one pop. down here ekes out survival by a hair. Right. It is. Polar oh, it is that Polar one's turn. <laughs> Pull her sword out of the dirt. <laughs> okay, as it comes shuffling up all these little lips. Leap, 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 leap. And it's all it can do, man. It sprays you, Eleanor. <laughs> You get a big old funnel-shaped ah. web whoop, tossed <laughs> onto you. Oh, I'm getting sick of this. It's just flashbacks <laughs> to the cave. I know. <laughs> At least we had Kaya there with fire damage. Yeah, because she had, she had nice. her, her flaming sword thing. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's that's its move and its action. Vis. <sighs> let, let, me, let me give that one a shot. I'm assuming I still... I don't still have haste. Nah, no, it would have. Nice shot. Uh, nice. Minus three is the other one? Or minus four? Two. Minus two. <laughs> so actually, both, both of those hit. Bat, bat. Nice. And I'm going to start being a little bit more conservative on magic because I'm well below. Okay. 1D10. Yeah, I think we're almost done. Oh. Are we almost done? This has been going for a while. Yeah. Spiders, man. You get a lot of them. Whap, mm -hmm. whap. Well, to be fair, I probably could have actually been using the scepter and the ice scepter and hit them with magic. <laughs> and as as she takes two fun. shots at this thing, the first one, it survives. <laughs> and the second shot finally just <laughs> pins it to the ground. Big old beach umbrella in it. Whew. Got it. Nice. <laughs> it is Nell's turn. Okay, what to do? I can't see any other, so move. You you hear clattering, clittering coming up through that hallway. Actually, yeah, I don't see anything else, so I'm gonna just move my ring. <laughs> Run action right into the fray. Oh hell no! <laughs> 
the bites on these things are only out of plus two. They ain't hidden shit. <laughs> I can't really do anything else, so... Okay. In my turn. Nell, Nell moves up to cover and holds. That one... Is that one alive? That one is alive! As it runs up, and is it worth? If you run again, you could. Yeah. Okay. No, it's gonna. Just been out of my range. It's going to move all the way up to you now, and that's all um... it can do. Oh. Okay. Because it's it it ran. <laughs> um. Maybe that one's open. turn. Dead. Come on. Dead. That one's turn. Dead. Okay. Your turn. I will over the heads of everybody. Fly over here. Just whip, whip. And then, uh, yeah. Go get this one is in front of, in front of wielding Nels. her idol. Yeah, <laughs> it's still alive, right? The one right in front of you. Uh, yes. Yep. Yeah, this guy. It's at full health. Um. Okay. Uh. No. No buffs are up right now. So I no just my flat. Okay. This is my flat roll. Well, the only buff is my aura, which is just the plus one to AC. Walla. Thirteen. Okay. <laughs> that hits. Uh... <gasps> yep. Let me just. Quickly grab my. There it is. I have this uh, even a notepad because it's just ludicrous. Womp. <laughs> As she Fish. has Nell, the spider just like charges up on you and just hell for leather straight up to you. Koke just walks up beside you. Oh, is that one still alive? Yeah. Swunk <laughs> in half. <laughs> oh, not not alive anymore. <laughs> All right. Is that your is that your turn, Don? I'll turn. I still see another one down at the bottom. Chef, here go. That's all the way down. Chef. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm on mute. My bad. Mm -hmm. Um, all the way down there. How far would the low gravity carry me if I were to jump? Oh God. If you were to jump, like I mean that that, that depends. That depends me. on what you roll for your jump, but yeah, um, from you if right rolled, now, it's uh, it's rolled, ninety feet say, away from you. If I rolled, say about a twenty-five, it's, and you know, it's whatever it would, it would be, be doubled. Twenty-five feet, it's doubled. It's doubled. That's that's how I've been considering it. Well, that actually would put me in in some range. So, oh, but uh, this is downhill just... too. Yeah, this that's is downhill. Okay, and that's a foot. That's oh, a foot and a half. Is another foot and a half. Is another foot and a half. So that's with an additional. If you could make it all the way to it, what like six feet of drop? Um, I'd say you could eke out and you could eke out another uh, half of it on top of it for that distance. Come on, baby. 35. How far does that get you? That would be, on normal gravity, 35. So I'm considering that to be 110 cap maximum distance. As, that's enough to. Yes, that's enough to make it there. As, just, as Chef just... winds up and just takes a couple of gauntleted boot leaps forward, just bump, bump, da, 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 and like a da, da. cannon, like a bullet out of a fucking gun, this Dark Knight goes barreling over all your heads and just slowly coasts down into the darkness. Hello. Hi. I guess you get a falling charge here. And I can, I can I, jump as part of a charge action. Yeah, yeah, no, I was gonna say like, I was like, oh, but that's just standard. But no, yeah, that's that's a big dragoon thing. Uh, twenty-four hits. So no soul eater, but uh, six. Squish. <laughs> nice. As I just waltz as you, gently as over you, it and get a spot of the get a get a sight of the final boss. As you just float your way down and just like, oh, this fucking spider, 
and you glance to your left, and there you, you see a creature fast asleep over in the corner. Okay, good thing I gracefully floated over here without making too much of a sound. Because <laughs> that thing is terrifying. Um, yeah, that's my. That's that's my go. Can how, who can who can fucking see me? Go back to the creepy music. I can. No, too creepy. Um, there we go. Just creepy enough. Uh, she turned back and is giving you all a stop. <laughs> Just see wild flailing chef. <laughs> those with dark vision, like, I don't know what everyone's <laughs> looking at. I mean, those without dark vision, like, I don't know what everyone's looking at. Yeah. Right, Stay um... here. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna creep out of LOS. Right, I'm gonna swoop down gonna to, to here where <laughs> chef is. I'm leaving my idol behind. I'll I'll grab it because I'm the one that's like super blind. <laughs> There's a sleeping one around the corner, and it looks different. Different. Like blue and glowy, like the final boss. Oh, hate that. <laughs> Come on. What's what's that? Uh, what's what? that check, Eleanor? Oh, trying, trying to get out of the window. Ah. <laughs> So, I think it's DC 12. Uh, da, 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 yes, DC 12. As you just. Fucking. Just fucking whip. Wait a second. Uh, is it, how, strong, it how strong is that fire around that torch uh, beast is currently holding? Uh, I, think it's a, I think it's a cosmetic fire. Oh, okay. Then I think, it's, it's, I think it's, it's as per continual flame, I think was the actual thing. So, yeah. I'm going to it, take this moment it doesn't actually and, burn. <laughs> I'm probably going to take this moment and uh, use. My last ether that I have. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is that? One d six, I think, for that. You're also kind of quiet, Ichi. Just a hair. How's that? Yeah, that's better. It's a little better. Okay. Uh, what is it? One d six, I think, for an ether. Uh, we can uh, check that real quick. Uh, is there any, like did... any role that we can do to like assist Eleanor and get out of this web? Uh, yeah, we can say over the next couple rounds this is really that's kind of a combat DC. If Nell and Tyre, you're both assisting her, uh, even yeah. with her ten, you the two of you kind of start cutting away at this and tsk, breaks her free. Yeah, okay. And yeah, it's a one d six plus one MP heal. And free her from the web. My my okay, check just there. Um, Thank you. Chef, you watch okay. as, as like Koke looks at like like some of those some of the, the backlash wounds she got. She just focuses and the wounds just seal over as I morph healing myself to full HP. With just a concentration check. Beat nice. the DC of how much damage I took. You asked me a question and I couldn't hear. Is it asleep? Did it see you? It is asleep. I'm gonna peek then, as I just swoop and swoop, like like forward, back. Okay, yeah, that thing looks fucked up. Or <laughs> Echo, don't suppose you have any healing spells left? Uh, kind of. You okay? I could probably stay maybe one, maybe two more hits, depending on how powerful they are. Okay. Uh, well. <laughs> A weak heal would work just all right well it's, i've got two more of these for the day so i guess you know what One. i've had this thing since the fucking campaign started i'm going to use the healing spring that i've had <laughs> for ages fast healing two for it's not, it's not much but there you go <laughs> it, it helps a lot actually thank you I will take the four HP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> whip, whip. <laughs> Two pairs of hit points come right into your pool. Fuck, so bad. Do you, yeah, need, do you need healing? Are you alright? I'm fine. Just okay. needed a tiny top off. Alright. Post pant 43 should be fine. I want to hang on to one lay on hands in case this thing can inflict blind or silence. Yeah, no, oh, I'm, yes, like I said, I'll leave this one. You are on top of me. Yeah. I'm like, why is everyone piled up here? Actually, um, Chef, do you want one of these potions of cure that the um, Moogles gave me? I'm Seriously, fine. I'm fine. Before. We might need okay. it for a bed. Alright. 
and cheat and cheat and cheat. <laughs> As the party comes lurking its way down the corridor. Echo still there? Jack. Could I get stealth rolls from basically all of y'all? Oh, down the line here to, to represent oh, yeah. how how discreet you're being in, in this descent. Even me? Uh, I am so good at this. Yeah, even even so even you and Chef this. here. Okay. We're, you were going to see how good I am at this. Uh, Please forgive me. Oh no. Oh no. You still rolled better. I rolled better than shit. Um. a penalty. Okay, who's close? Okay, as as you're all kind of lurking down this corridor, a lot of you succeeding pretty well. Uh, Koke, you you watch a chef. Is kind of looking, trying to peek around the corner. And takes is about to take a step forward, and there's a there's the drop there, and she's going to slide. You can make 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 a, make a reflex, Crab. make a reflex save, uh, like DC fourteen. Oh, here we go. Oh god, here we go. I don't have a dex or so. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, and as, as as Chef is about to step off this ledge and make the loudest cacophony of armor in the world, Koke just gets you by the hand and yeek! You stop and you look down and oh shit! And you you, you, you catch yourself. As one by one the party peeks the corner into the, the danger room. Careful. She kind of jerks her arm away and yeah, then I'm, after I'm a second quite quickly. <laughs> Thanks. Not <laughs> seething. Thank you. <laughs> Do, is Echo still there? Do we, we still have trick? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. And the bird follows after all of you. <laughs> it was into auto bird mode. Auto bird. Auto bird. <laughs> With the occasional quee. As Vis kind of like comes up between you guys, which yeah, I need to get her her stealth. Da 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 da. You're good Why the heck's your stealth? 12. Oh shit, that. yeah. As she comes lurking up in between everybody. The nice 24. Just dip, 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 dip. Hey, what's up there? Why does everyone look all panicked? It's a big blue. One of the things we've been fighting before looks augmented somehow. <laughs> You're saying their spiders are augmented? Yes. <laughs> fully fucking fully loaded fruit flies, man. <laughs> well, maybe not the other, maybe not the other spiders, but this one's definitely. And somewhere, Jimson is losing his shit. <laughs> um, I saw it and then flew flew backwards. Is there a knowledge? Is there a knowledge you I could, can make you to could, kind of identify? You can make a knowledge. You can make a knowledge arcana. Icky. Come on, Koke. You can. You can. You can make this. Oh, no, that's. That's not what I want. <laughs> right. I got all DC. Go, <laughs> 1D 2013. The plus, the plus just wasn't added. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. 23. Identify. That's no, right. It's well, we already ready for that. It was 10 plus CR typically for for the general lowdown on things. Yeah. Uh, you're not quite sure what it what it is. Can I try I... and get a little bit closer? I don't think I've seen anything like, like that in any of it, my studies. It looks a lot like the ones you were just fighting, but bigger. But you're not sure what it is. As Tyro goes and takes his own peek, go ahead and make your knowledge arcana. Go ahead and throw or up plus four to that. For me. That makes it. Um, you identify that this is this perhaps this could have started life as an end keg, but either through its consumption of the of the aether here, or just its general growth, it has become something much greater. Uh, you you identify it as an uh, an and a grandanda, granda. And, and the Granda, there it is. 
Anaconda. <laughs> anaconda. It's like anaconda, but like bigger. And a yeah. spider. <laughs> An anaconda, but grande. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. It is El Mexican spider. Um, you you pick out. It is weak to ice. It has the same vulnerabilities. It has similar earth magic. It is crazy fucking dangerous earth magic, and because of the. Um, discrete differences between your and Koke's roles, you guys can probably piece out. It's somewhere between CR 14 and CR 18. Uh, guys, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> well, on the upside, it may have started out as an egg cake, but I believe by eating the various minerals around here, it's become a bit more powerful. It's still weak to ice, but the earth magic is probably going to hurt a lot more. If it's been stuck in here by the lockout, we could leave, rest, and come back. It seems we can tell the Rugals they can just give us some... Isn't there some type... I don't know. Out of character, I'm thinking, is there like some freaking TNT we can throw at the thing, but I don't even know if I know if TNT exists. Um, th those who have peeked do notice that it is hanging along... Uh kind of on the on the edge of a hunk of rock, kind of in a little nice uh, nestled spot where it can rest. And the gap that it's hanging over as you peek down, there is a hatch down there. I'm not sure I want to tussle with this thing, but... I mean, is anyone feeling stealthy to go in and take a look? Hell no. <laughs> not really. Does anybody not have any invisibility? Two. Any invisibility spells or anything? I could, I could poke it and dimension door out. <laughs> like that is within the range. <laughs> I would not recommend. I would not recommend it. Uh, what do I have? Oh, well out of range. We're gonna do that. We able to get the hell out of Dodge and none of us are stuck in the way. Yeah, I have no visibility magic, sadly. The closest thing I have is I could possibly put it back to sleep. That's about it. And that would probably be a very short lived sleep. Yeah, as soon as I end the spell, it would go back, it would wake back up. Sleeping targets are subject to coup de gras. <laughs> as, as Chef just sits there drooling at this fucking high CR could, monster fast asleep. You could theoretically ready a swing and then have Tiro D door you over and then attack. Oh god. If they wake up, that'd be a very, very squishy target. I mean, the, the outflow on Dimension Door is largely silent. Mm hmm. He, he, the two of you could just bap to its to its butt side and just, just and get start the going off on it. Yeah. I mean, technically, yes. Double I'm just a little bit scared because... <laughs> yeah, no. This thing don't got trimmer sense. Y'all okay. lucky. Actually, yeah, that, that, that's, a, that's something Tyro would know because because of the, uh, the ID. Yeah. Well, that's my best suggestion. Otherwise, I mean, this is going to be a bitch of a fight. Yeah, Kinkoki is lying. Honestly? Quite honestly, if we do this, I would probably... Probably what? Uh, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think, but it would be a big waste of resource, though. Or a big gamble. Because I could, theoretically... Oh, no, it would only work on me. Okay, if we give Chef a turn to wind up the, the band... <laughs> we yeah. Well, pretty the, juicy the thing that I would probably be doing <clears throat> is I would probably be casting Displacement on myself and the very off chance that this thing wakes up. <laughs> Beforehand, I would cast displacement on myself beforehand, then use dimension door to bring Chef over. I can give you guys an extra move action, but you have to be within thirty feet of myself to do it. Yeah. I don't know. I can get you in there, Chef, but be aware, it's a little closer to your comfort than I'd like to be. Could you de-door us back out again? Ah. <sighs> Not in the same round, unfortunately. I have used both my use of quick cast for today.
It's up to you guys. I don't. I can't really do a whole lot with that one. Yeah. I mean, if I can get the hit on it sleeping, it is gone. There is True. no way it will be able to survive. Uh, thirteen d six. Yeah. Like what that is, is that is a beyond impossible fort save to make for anything. All right. Um, All right. What I'm going to do then is, if you want to do this, I'm first going to cast Dimension Door, uh, cast a uh, Displacement on myself, in the okay. very rare chance that it happens to do that, to, to basically survive. Again, as a precaution. And then, <laughs> as Tyro displaces. Yeah. So, whenever you're ready, we'll let's let's do it. Okay. All right. Start the. I end. will. I will hand chef the um, potion of Galkastrand Blessa. If you don't have any access to that, land. my my Galkastrand normal, I think, is still up. It's yeah, been, it's minutes. It's seven, it's, it's seven, seven minutes. minutes. Yeah, it's still up. Okay. okay you're um, kind of on the tail end of it here, but yeah, it's still up. Because luckily, you guys have cleared this entire dungeon in just like a couple minutes. All right, then I will burn a point of dragon power to grant plus two. To attack damage rolls. Um, Jeff. Everybody else gets AC. Plus two dodge bonus. Okay, that works for me. If I can, like, instant so it's just within range, I could probably get a hit with my bow. I can have it to hunt. <laughs> it's, it's, either, it's either I kill it with a coup de gras or we run. Yeah, yeah you guys have fun. Alright. Whenever you're ready, Jeff. Go. I uh, use Dimension Door. Okay. And you where, where put you? us over there, I guess. All right, I'll I'll I'll, yeah. I'll move you over there. Are, are you are you are you gonna put us over, put him over there, or do you want me to? <laughs> you, uh, if you want to, yeah, sure. The the pair of you blink into into melee with it. And I'm gonna go for the coup de gras. You have all your buffs running. I mean, like, I get, I've got I still got Soul Eater. Okay. Like that's the big one. Go ahead and make a go ahead and make a perception check, both of you. By the way, once you well, now that you're poofed in the middle of this room. Mm, shit. Twenty six. Okay, Tyra, you you do notice on the north end of the room, there's a large crate, and there's a uh, control panel off to the side as well. Okay. All right. Well. Full round attack, full round thing for coup de gras, if I'm allowed. You, you absolutely can 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 attempt a coup de gras on this thing. It is currently asleep. Well, automatic hit, automatic crit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Roll your damage. It all starts building up its fort save. Um. Shit. I just gotta check the the buffs I've got. Four from strength. Six from strength because half again. Seven, nine. Okay. <laughs> the two of you are just sitting there. Oh, fucking like. This is this is. Oh god. <laughs> Dice. Would, right. Will okay. it be able to make a DC sixty six fort save? Only if it crits. It does not. It does not. It's instantly dead. Oh my god. As, as what should have been a quarter of its health becomes all of its health as you spend a couple of seconds very carefully outlining the sides of its body. And you right. find a little spot right between its thorax and its abdomen where there's a plate that's just wide enough. You can get your whole fucking sword in there. And you carefully don't touch any of its legs and sneak up behind it and just... And twist... <laughs> And you see the entire thing, its eyes go open. And just out out from that gap where you've stabbed it, just gouts of just terrible Icarus blood. Just as this thing stumbles left and right and left and fucking flails wildly and just collapses onto a side. As its 201 health mean nothing now. Got it. 
Nice job. Holy shit. I nice. it. <laughs> Over to have a look. <laughs> you cheeky bastard. And, and, and you're I'm pulling off the leg. I'm pulling off the I'm biting into this thing. Okay. Congratulations, Tiro. What do I do? If it wasn't if it wasn't for Tiro, I would that would not have happened. But over so, the next nice like, five or I six minutes. And run around. Was over the next five no. or six minutes, you learn uh the ability Earthquake and you learn the ability Magnitude Eight. That's an 8th level spell, Will. Yes. Yes, it is. That's an- I have an 8th level spell, Will. Yes. <laughs> no, no, Koke. I have an 8th level spell. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and it never got a chance to use it on you guys. I, I really think you should reconsider <laughs> Junction and casting. <laughs> the- uh, them's the rule. Can... I can cast it because I have so much charisma. <laughs> yeah, we can we can we can double check the math on that. But if 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 you if you can technically cast an eighth level spell at your level, which is absurd if that's true, then then you can. Okay, but spell at level seven is ridiculous. So. Well, we I mean, will look into that shit. <laughs> yeah, because that's a little absurd. To check to, to check draw the or cast a spell or spell like ability, the seed operative must have a charisma score equal to at least ten plus the spell level. Period. Uh, then it's in the rules. I just find it ridiculous that you can pull it. It, it, it is uh, ridiculous. Wait, but that's that's but... the that, that's the caveat that they put on all casters to make sure that you don't. Um... Yeah. Well, but we'll look into no, that. We'll look no, into that. There's no listed. There's no listed maximum. I'll figure it out. Because anywhere. in in general, you probably should only be able to cast to to the point your caster level would would typically uh, permit with spell growth. All the... all casters have the. You're, you've got to have a score of 10 plus spell level to cast. The the thing the thing is though, I would have to draw from this thing and it's 26 hit die or whatever it has to be able to get it. Unless you have a primal blue mage in the party that can eat it and reduce the HD. Yeah. Well, still it op it opens up a a ridiculous can of worms you guys go fighting the final boss and it's like oh natural 20 like i got the one shot kill thing the final boss is dead which to be fair kind of just happened so what am i even complaining about <laughs> um. uh, i mean a once a day like magnitude eight i mean fucking <laughs> yeah no you can just stock up on which, those which yeah koge now that you've now that you've slurped that down that's a 15 d10 um area of effect mm -hmm. That I can't cast until. That you can't cast until basically cast end game. for another ten levels. And even yeah. then, I mean. And yet, my my not even blue mage friend can. I'm a little bit tilted. Yeah, we'll 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 see. We'll see. Because like I under. I'll 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 read through and see if I can't find anything. We may have to yeah. home or something. I just but I just do want to say that even though like, I do really think that should be looked at. Even though Chef has been yeah, the star no, no, of this no, 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 no. I... <laughs> don't, it would, don't worry. It would undo. A lot, like a lot of what I did to get us through this dungeon with fulmination and sure. bulk of strength, and none of none of none of that none of that will be will be retroactively altered. Well, Regardless, we'll you're all here. The thing is dead. <laughs> what you doing? After I numb, I'm gonna go and investigate these crates okay. up here. Yeah. I will too. Um, Some you you look hidden. through, uh, the outside of the crate, you find, uh. You find, you know, man manufactured uh, Levistone Corporation, you know, certified mining equipment, blah, blah, blah. On the, ups on the upper end of it, on the, the lid here that's been flipped up, you see mm -hmm. painted in bright red, um, courtesy of Dreadnought. Oh, god damn it. Oh, no. Oh, no. We gotta question the crew when we get back. Yeah. I mean, it was probably Garland and O'Hara is doing more so than the crews, but... Considering it was one year ago, yeah. Well, we could at least find out where they got the eggs and whatnot, maybe. In these know. little crates. Um, as you peek through those, you find... Uh, you find... One of them has a mining drill, you find a pickaxe, you find... Uh, a bag of gemstones totaling uh, 1,200 gil. 
Okay, I'm keeping that. One point two, you said? Mm -hmm. You know I can refine those, right? <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> that makes it makes a whole makes the time turn into a lot more money. Is it you guys inspecting the control panel there? Yeah. Yeah. While I'm doing that, I'm going to search around the room and check to make sure there aren't any eggs. Okay. Um, if you want to make a knowledge knowledge technology check. <laughs> I don't have knowledge con. technology. I guess we can't. As, okay. as the two of you were like, all right, we're going to figure this thing out. You kind of like glance at it, just covered in buttons and screens and numbers. And it's like, you look at each other and you both look back at the control panel. It's like, what the fuck is this thing? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> What? <laughs> Could you take a look at this, please? Oh, okay. Fly over. What the fuck is this? Um, Are you giving me an that's aura? A that's a knowledge technology. Uh, you're out of my aura. Let me oh, okay. a little bit closer. Yeah, plus four. Okay. So yeah, plus four to mine as well. So yeah, as nice. as you both yeah, roll twenty five, cool. um, you you both kind of glance at this control panel and start running through it. This is the controls for this section of the mine. Um, you notice references to um, atmosphere conditions for environmental control, and you notice very notably something that is a um, the the open and the open and close for both sides of an airlock. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Let's leave this alone. It's the airlock. I mean, if we really needed to get rid of that thing, we could have just faced it. And, and in fact, now... I do believe I do believe that was the intent of what we were supposed to do to defeat this, is to space it. Um, no, did, did yeah. you, do you make your perception check to search around frags? I didn't ask if I'm going to do it now. Okay, yeah, make, make, make a perception check. I see okay. all. Okay. I see everything. Okay. <laughs> As you glance around in here, you see the crate, you see the panel, you see the, the, the large super keg. And as you glance down and around, that field of orbs that you saw from the other room, those, that field of pods, spans all the way down into the corner of this drop down. And with your with your dark vision and your and your focus in this moment, those are eggs. All of those are eggs. Those are eggs that span the entire floor of this built, the entire uh, sub level of this mine. There's probably thousands uh, of them. Guys, those orbs down there, those are the eggs. There's a lot of them. What? What's in this room? Like next to this control panel here? Is there any like um, solid uh, poles or anything? Yeah, I mean, there's 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 a set of chains. There's there's anchor points. Um, you find some stuff that looks like it's it's coming down from above. Uh, like it's like it's burrowed into this asteroid from the substructure of the station, perched on top of it. All right. Um. How long did it take us to get through here with fighting everything? Uh, with fighting everything, it took you guys like, like three minutes, three or four minutes. I give you five minutes. Go. What are you? What are you doing? I take out the rope from my bag and I'm starting to anchor myself into next to this thing here. At this point, Visas Visas wait, would wait. have wandered up to you guys. Um, what? Wait, 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 wait. what? I am going to stay here, stay behind, as I keep just tying again and again and again. I can just fly over all the chasms once this is done. I'm going to open the airlock. I'm spacing all of these eggs. You have five minutes to get to the exit before I open this, and if you're not out, then I don't know what's going to happen to you. If it's going to suck everything out, then what about the air? I'll be alright. <laughs> um... Ooh... Okay, are you sure about this? Nope. Yeah. She well, kind of glances up. Choice, really? She glances up at the ceiling. Yeah, and she looks over at Chef. You could door out. Could you escape the whole place, though? I'd say so. The thing is, is that we need to close this again so they have access to... Yeah, and where, where you guys yeah. are, over there's the door. This is a level deeper. Up from here, you is still more station. 
So we could teleport you straight could, up. You could blink out, and it, it you wound down in here a little bit, but not more than 500 feet between you and it. The the problem isn't the air, it's the pressure. <laughs> well, it's a lot of things. Don't you, like... Don't you, you or, like you you, you, you this cannot is, survive. This is this is not a, this is not a situation that you can hold your breath. You a person a person can survive the vacuum phase. They can survive the vacuum phase if they're extremely healthy for about a minute. Then you are dead. You go you go unconscious within the first like eight seconds or something. And if you inhaled before you went out into the vacuum, your body boils. Grand, do any of us even know that? <laughs> As all of the oxygen in your blood is wanting to be out in space as hard as it can. <laughs> and your lungs just <laughs> are gone. Yeah. Crazy science shit. Don't, don't be in space. <laughs> so, yeah, there's no way to fucking survive this. I'm not gonna I take mean, all of the Y'all have tons of, of magic. What you, what you up to? Is there any kind of a, like, timer on this hatch thing? Uh, there doesn't like seem to be. Phone? You you might be able to rig Jerry rig something. Oh, uh, my. Oh, I mean, technology. unless the other the only other thing we could potentially do is like, uh, Chef does it, and then just as soon as they hit the button, just. Boom. But we have to close it again. That's the problem, though. That's the big problem here. So well, I mean, stays, well, if I well if mm -hmm. I spend an hour. Meditating and change. Can I change around my evolutions on my eidolons? Ooh, is that a is that a thing that is in the class? That's to, not a to, thing that's to, in to the class. Around? That's not uh, a thing that's in the class. You, but if are I you just... are you able to change them on level up? Are you able to reallocate them? Yes. Okay. Then I would say that uh, for not just an hour, but probably in like two hours, basically a almost vanilla um, fifth edition short rest. You could because re if, I, those. if I redistribute my scent and immunity to fire, I can get that I do not require breath. I can exist in the vacuum of space. But it's not just breath. Yeah, it's it's, it's also, also yeah. temperature. No, no, largely it is, it's breath, magically speaking. The, the, I, whole, the whole thing is, is I can I can exist in space. That is the point of why. Why don't we just go upstairs and ask the Moogles if they have a fucking space suit? Or you know, a droid or something that can do it instead. Yeah, we might want to go talk to the NPCs and get their opinion. All right. We I, might I... have we might have to abandon the mine if it means getting rid of the eggs. I start. We the thing is, is that currently, so if we leave them too long, they'll just hatch, and this whole problem is again. I'm yeah, going but they're to... not gonna they're not gonna overpopulate the thing in five minutes. Yeah. How many D doors do you guys have left? I can D door. Let's see. I can D door five more times. All right. I so have like you guys, you guys, you guys can it? just instead of us having to walk all the way out, you guys can just bamf up top, talk to them, and then bamf back down again. Mm -hmm. All right. I like your chef. It's like all right, let's go. What did Actually, you have you dropped me or... today? How did I think about it? <laughs> yes, I did. D okay. Door. Okay. Where are you guys up to? We'll, we'll while that here. while that happens, I'm going to sit and I'm going to work on changing this around. If it's if, if this is what it's going to need, then okay. I'll be yeah. fine because I, with this evolution, I can exist in the vacuum of space. Okay. That is the point. You... So I'm going to sit and start meditating. You you start right, you start thinking it. Two of you right, head up. Step down to 14 MP. Chef, grab hold. We'll head on up. Okay. Then the t the two of you blink away. And for now, we will stow you in this wall. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Stuff. The darkness. <laughs> I'm home. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the two of you find yourself uh, back among the the side corridors and kind of the the residential area of the the station. You find little Moogle bunks to your left and to your right. You're sort of tucked between stuff, but luckily you didn't end up in any walls. All right. I'm going to look for the uh, Moogle that we talked to before we headed down. Okay. You you wander your way around. Eventually, you, you come to like the, the mess kind of gas <laughs> gathering area where a lot of them are just sitting around playing cards and eating. And the Ronso dude is still there, just leaning against a wall, looking out at space. Was one of the Moogles... <laughs> um, 
Oh, oh, they're 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 back. Um. <laughs> wow, you you look terrible, Koopa. Yeah, it's been a bit of a rough day. On the upside, this is more the Moogles are just coming large, around you. The very large ones have been dealt with. So that's the good Glance. news. Ah, excellent. Um, the so... downside, however, there is a downside. However, there are a large number of eggs that are unhatched. Mm, you hear just and a moaning like, oh, from from the whole room. You have an idea to get rid of them. It appears that there is a an air hatch of some kind that we believe that we can jettison yes. them all out. However, we don't have the means to actually survive the vacuum of space. Do you have anything that can either a suit or anything that could actually operate the controls for us without actually having to do that? Uh, we, uh, Koopa, we, we have suits, um, but... Uh, flap, 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 flap. Down, down a corridor. Back up a corridor. Come back with it. It's Moogle-sized. Tiny little space yeah. suit. God damn it. Well, why don't Moogle's you too. push... Why don't you push the button, then? They're all dead. You, you, you sure, Koopa? If you would like us to glance, escort you glance. down, you can. <laughs> Looks out of the rest of the room. How about uh, from from the EVA team, Koopa? And they look over, and there's like a bunch of other Moogles like sitting there, like playing what looks like Magic: The Gathering <laughs> in a corner. They kind of glance <laughs> over. They give. They kind of start to give a shake, and they all look at each other, and they all their necks collapse, and they all stand up and start flapping down a corridor. And yeah, they'll, they'll 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 be with you in just a moment, Koopa. Yeah. Whew. I'm gonna get the Moogle horde and suits. <laughs> and like. Probably eight, eight or nine minutes pass as these guys get equipped in the pseudo full plate that is big, heavy, uh, iron and and almost plastic uh, spacesuits with kind of reinforced uh, like a mesh mesh metal over glass on the on the front plate and a couple of Moogles at this point just walking towards you because they can't really flap that well. <laughs> All surround you. There's 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 right. four of them. Let's go then. All right. We will make our way back down. All right, just okay. Them. And <clears throat> running running through the corridors. Uh, how are you how are you getting all the Moogles across the gaps? Uh, they can them. fly. <laughs> they they would they would be able to fly but they're in spacesuits now. Uh, okay. Uh, Can I throw them like footballs? You could throw them like footballs. <laughs> oh, they God. They actually carry their suits while they're flying? They, they could take no, them off, but, but they just put them on. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, if only I could well, bring... I have, one, I have, one, I have a lot of strength. I have a lot of strength. Like, I could probably, two at a time, just hop, hop. Drop, they, hop, they, hop, they look at up, you. Hop, hop, drop. Uh, we can glide just a little bit. Just like just like the suit, like gloved sections of wing that just impotently flap. Uh, and if you want, you you could you could toss us if you want, Koopa. <laughs> no. <laughs> do it, do chef it. is chef is going to carry them like eggs on a monster hunter quest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And very delicately, over and the next probably get them, five minutes get them, or so. I need to get them to direct us to anything that they don't want jettisoned into space. Yeah, and as as you're going through here, there's they are gathering like a, a running cart of of stuff, of tools and like mining whole like you know it's like a whole fucking kit. Um, go ahead and just for sanity's sake here. So they're all like walking past all the corpses of shit we left. Okay. Out. And okay. This all whole right. dungeon has just been ridiculous. Um, can I get a perception check from you and Tyro? Sure. Uh, oh wow, jeez. <laughs> Uh, as the snoozing. Yeah, Jake snoring. 
he has asked that we just keep him in here. So, mm -hmm. all right. I can I can server mute and leave a message. Okay. Or do we care? Uh, as long as he doesn't make too much noise, it should be fine. Could I get that perception check from you, Chef? Okay. Um, as as you all work your way over the last few gaps uh, in transit, you, uh, Tyro, you, you, you swear you hear like some sort of crackling. Chef, you do catch the sound of an egg opening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And after, a, and in moments here, as you as you're all working the Moogles across, a very very young infant one comes crawling up over the edge. Still a large, another one is hatched. On a ninety six. Uh, da, 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 da. uh, I don't have that plus two, and it just give me a second to rejiggy all the math. Mm -hmm. uh, mini boss. <laughs> oh shit! I've lost the strength now. Mhm. Mm you have a potion. Have a potion. <laughs> if if you need it. Well, it's above a ten. Jesus. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh dear. You're you're done with this. <laughs> Fourteen. Well, goes before me. <laughs> and chef coming in at twenty-five. There you go. Fucking reorder. Bam. As as this thing comes lurking out over the edge with the moogles in in tail of you, chef, you move first. Okay, um, I'm gonna, I, I saved this, I'm gonna click on dark side, minus six there, I don't have soul eater on, uh, charisma to hit, so, uh, team eight, and I will... Take a swing. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. With its natural armor. Uh, I gotta actually have to calculate something. Eight minus four, three. Four, find four, out five, six, my, my use of uh, seven. Seventeen. Of Did you roll? Sixteen. You, you miss. Just barely. Alright. Second attack. I had to. I, I've, I've got most of its stuff halved, including its natural armor. That one hits. Fucking. This is too much damage. One, two, three, nine. Yeah. It takes 28 points of damage. It is still standing. Plus that to myself. And. Okay. Uh, Oh yeah, I already used the swift. So, um... Okay. It is its turn. It is going to attempt to bite you, Chef. With its tiny, okay. tiny little little mouth. It's large, tiny mouth. It's large, <laughs> tiny mouth. Large, tiny mouth. <laughs> Doesn't hit me. <laughs> Shit. As, as its mandibles reach out and kind of grab onto your plate, you hear one of them just... <laughs> as it just sprains its little, like, moments ago newly formed mandible. Tyro, it's your turn. That's all it can do. Because uh, it, it moved Swift in here in this moment. Swift action, short strike for a plus two to attack. I'm going to cast Blizzard 1. Oh. <laughs> Back Blizzard. into the fucking abyss with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's range touch. Range touch hits still. These things are range Shit. touch is 10. Thank Cause, Christ. Because all, all of right. their... All of their... Uh, of their armor is in natural. I'm so glad I put on short yeah. strike. Yeah. Uh, Goodbye, 1D. baby. Uh, 1d6 plus... <laughs> 14. Actually, you're still double damage, so 28. Double. 28. <laughs> as as you strike it with Blizzard, 
its body sort of crumbles and it just collapses back into the horde. All right, free action, dark side off. That's that. That's that other fucking daily thing expended. <laughs> yep. And then the nice. two of you continue moving the rest of the Moogles there. It takes, well, yeah, takes probably in the span of a no, not you, that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's back to life. It's coming. It takes the span <laughs> of of probably uh, ten minutes with them collecting their tools and stuff, because like they're grabbing them as they're going, and by the time they they kind of get to the end, they've got a good horde going. All right. Oh, hey, they you're back. Suits. And there's hey, there's, oh, a set of, there's a set of four Moogles <laughs> walking in spacesuits with you guys. <laughs> oh, there's four of them. Oh my god, that is adorable. Cavalry's <laughs> here, then? Yep. Um, Don't be racist, Eleanor. What? <laughs> uh, yes, Koopa. We're here to, uh, to help with the, uh, with the oxygen problem, Koopa. Uh, it's less oxygen problem and more... There's too many eggs problem. Uh, hopefully one of those problems can handle the other one, Koopa. Indeed. All right, so, all right, so you're going to operate this, then? Uh, uh yes, Koopa. Uh, here, I, right. we can... <laughs> Give us a moment here. Come on. And the four of them well, walk over and... We're probably going to want to clear out first. So that yeah, we should probably leave. Cause <laughs> they the just start bapping in the control panels. Yeah, we're just... We're going. Them. It's all still working, Koopa. And they turn around and you're all like, no, nah, no, nah, fuck this. And you're all already on the way out. It's like, yeah, yeah, that, that would be advisable. Uh, yeah, I'm okay, thank you, Koopa. I'm up these for all the right, extra please. movement speed. All right, please be careful. <laughs> Run, run, go, run, go. And as you all escape from Brimstar, back to the front of the dungeon. <laughs> After just killing Mother Brain. <laughs> or Ridley, take your pick. <laughs> hey, at least, at least something saw your kill. <laughs> Goodbye, Echo. <laughs> as Echo just remains camp and phases through the fucking walls to catch up. <laughs> Oh, uh, guys, I can't jump. <laughs> oh, for the love of God. Beast, you get to the exit. Why? Why? <laughs> guys, Why? I can't jump. I, <sighs> I scooped Nell. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, what oh, say for the God, you are heavy. Come on. It's <laughs> just hey, was, was dragging, like, dragging like yes! an anchor through the sky. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> I've scooped Nell as well on the way out. Oh, at least yeah. I don't. At least I don't turn into a whale. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sea serpent. <laughs> at least I'm not oh, doing your job for you. Now, come on. Yeah, yes, mm. yes, come on. Drop the moment we get here. <laughs> as I desperately try to pan Thanks. the camera over in the fucking. <laughs> Oh, come on. Uh, come on. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, God. One fucking step at a time. Uh -oh, um, everybody's everybody's you all, cardio for the night. You all return back up and park yourself. Da -da 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 -da. Let me just bring you back to the world map. You all work your way back outside. You park yourself in the in the station. Doors close behind you. And then you you hear those of you with particularly acute perception a moment of of just the entire area just vacating itself. <laughs> as 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 on the opposite side of the little uh, airlock here, there's a, a few Moogles are just sitting there, all their all eyes up on you. Um, you kill it all already, Koopa? Um, are they gonna be all right down Anything. there by themselves, Koopa? <laughs> Anything we missed, not in a suit, is now floating around in low orbit. Um, that that is much better, Koopa. Yeah. Those <sighs> suits will keep your companions safe. Yeah. Yeah, and indeed, Koopa. They have um, 
restraints and stuff. And they'll be fine. Okay. I mean, heat, air, handles the whole environment suit. Um, we're very proud of those, Koopa. Oh. <laughs> that was so much fun! <laughs> that was uh, just what I needed. <clears throat> that was crazy. As as the rumors of D&D parties that sneak up on sleeping dragons and just fucking one-shot them turn out to be true. <laughs> well, well, you only have yourself to blame for yeah. letting it be asleep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and thinking that we wouldn't just silently like, oh, like, teleport clearly, behind it. Clearly, they'll all sneak around. It. It'll be a whole sneaking thing. Nope, nope. They're just fucking teleporting to it and murdering it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time we've completely hey, You're it. welcome. <laughs> hmm? And I suggested that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's good idea. I wouldn't have thought it would work because I thought Dior was louder than it apparently no, is. No, it's it's there, there isn't even a, there isn't even a uh, a verbal component to it. It's literally just you're there. Like oh, Koke's doing little it's... little like bouncy hoppies on her toes, like jumping up and down. She's so just excited. Just Visa's really just watching buzzed. you bounce. I still got so much adrenaline. <laughs> That's just that's just Koke bounce bounce bounce. Visa just watching bounce bounce bounce. Just like blushies. Oh, she's gonna sit down on the floor. Now, about that gill. Uh, yes, Koopa. Um, we can tally through the uh, the contract here, Koopa. Um, they kind of wander off. Da -da 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 -da. And for what they judged to be a CR11 encounter, based on the stars on that sheet. They, they, they wander back with, uh, with a pouch of gill. It takes two of them, kind of hauling it, and they slide it out to you. Um, paid in full, Koopa, for your, um, the, the, the star count on the contract, Koopa. I'm gonna count it. Okay. Well, Koke well, is still. Yeah, they're they're over there hopping. You're still waiting for the spacesuit Moogles to come back up. Mm -hmm. You sit in there, you count the gill out. It looks like it's. 4,400 gil. Mm -mm. Which is maybe mm -mm. much less than mm -mm. you would have wanted mm -mm. for mm -mm. something. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <clears throat> You're kidding, right? Uh, it was the uh, amount in the contract, Koopa. Um, our experts tell Did us. You... Um, yes? Did you see the thing that was down there? The big, no. giant, glue, blue, oh. glowing... Um... <sighs> It was an Antigranda. Anti Anti Granda, Um, one moment. And like one of them flies away. <laughs> and a few moments later, uh, you with with another sort of rush, you see a the the door behind you guys open. Like probably about ten minutes goes by here in in the interlude, and for for co for cobalt for fucking Moogles. Uh, with with their with spacesuits kind of just dragging, come flapping back. The door closes. Um, the whole thing's clear, Koopa. We are free to start mining again. And there's just a cheer erupt out from the rest of the station. It's just tiny, tiny. Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> what? <laughs> we've been yeah. literally. Well, I mean, we've been on fucking mandatory leave for like a year. <laughs> Well, it's I mean, all like, now. after like three days, like everyone would be bored of magic. Yes. Like, <laughs> there's only there's only so many ways Excellent. you can you can play the the match with the guy that bought the new season of cards, and like, it just gets boring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, you you four that went down uh, there. Yes, Koopa. The big blue thing. Ah, no, they they uh, Anagranda, Koopa. Yeah. That's that was way more than what the contract was was for. <laughs> yeah, and they kind of glance at each other and they rub their necks, and finally the one comes over with the book. Uh, Anagranda, um, that is a very dangerous creature. Um, I'm not sure if and the the four of them are like, no, no, there's one down there. Out well, there was. Oh. That was dead. It's dead and spaced. 
Well then. If you've got any, if you've got any primal mages around, you could lick the blood off my blade to find out. <laughs> <laughs> They'll kind of look at you, look at your sword. They shudder a little. It's your big, f intimidating uh, judge. <laughs> Yeah, the, like... yeah, the judge greatsword just mm -hmm. smeared in in the ichor. Like, ah, <laughs> uh, ooh. Well, with the end cake, and then also the. Mm, hang on, give us a minute, Koopa. Um, and right, keep, keep track there that they they've given they have one sack of four thousand four hundred gil in front of you that you've counted. Yeah. Uh. You see a second sack is brought forward, sliding along the ground. This one substantially larger than the previous one and is set beside it. Um, this in addition then, Goopa, for the larger and anagrana creature, um, based on our estimates in this, um, in this book. <laughs> Slide it up to you. Uh, the... Ellen, come help me count this. And as, as as you start counting it, and like you you get a few coins. Um, it's um, it's 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 seven thousand five hundred gil. In addition to the four thousand four hundred gil. Good bra. Oh. Now that is what I'm talking about. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was a very dangerous creature you helped us destroy. Um, th thank you very much from everyone here, and from those back home in uh, and in Zanop. You've, you've done a great I'm service glad, to the Levestone Corporation today. I'm glad you're all able to get back to work. Though I'd like to go back to Aria now. Ah, uh, yes, um, uh, yes, um, uh, in, indeed, the, the planet. Uh, kind of glance around. You, you all wishing to leave in, in such a hurry? Uh, we would be having a momentary, a moment of celebration here before we return to work, if you wanted to... Let's Party guys. with we some moogles. Like uh, solid ground underneath my feet. This is solid ground. It's just this solid is solid ground on our planet. Floating solid ground. Oh come on, it'll be fun. We haven't had a chance to like just relax. <laughs> Should we maybe let Cookie and the gang know that we're not dead first? I mean, we'll, we'll party and then we'll go. Well. Well, they and, get back to And Vis gives you the. Vis looks at you with a like. We can party on the airship. Uh. And you you want to go back back to the planet? It's a little unsettling up here. I won't lie. All right, all right. <laughs> we'll go back. And as as you walk through, you see Moogles just popping champagne. This. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Space party. Yeah. I. I can take her back down if you'd rather stay here for a while. Nah, I'll just... It'll be fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> can I Can I just, like, loot a bottle of champagne? <laughs> uh, if, if you... If there, there, there appears to be a bar that's being staffed by Moogle, it appears you could just go up and request one. Yeah, that's that's what okay. I'm gonna do. Just you to... you you walk up, you you gain you gain one bottle of champagne, uh, and as as you sort of walk back over the way you came in, the the Ronso man from earlier, and it walks up to you, or preparing to leave. I should make my report back to, back to headquarters. Yeah, we should just get back down to the surface. Oh, well, all right then. Uh, come this way. Then. Big, big ol' cat man walks you over to the the way you came in. Eleanor's gonna escort Bourbon. Mm-hmm. And you all step on. I mean, is anyone staying to party? No. 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 Alright, well then I'll grab two bottles of, sh two bottles yeah, of you, champagne. You go back and they, they hand you a second bottle of champagne. And they... You had a... You are quite large. You want a, maybe a third? Yeah, fuck it, sure. Hands you. <laughs> now, one under an arm and one in each hand, you return to the space elevator. <laughs> I get drunk on the way down. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, that, that only makes sense. Okay. <sighs> oh, God. 
Oh god. Chef would be the asshole that would pop the cork in zero grav. <laughs> Spray the inside of the elevator to ruin their fucking space elevator. <laughs> let's not, let's not do that. I will just say, if you feel yeah. like sense motive, grab the bottles. <laughs> yeah. As you all re-enter <sighs> the space elevator, uh, the glass exterior closes, the metal caging closes, the reinforcement, like, it all toop, 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 all the layers back to you. All right, hold on. And... It starts rising. Yet again, the, the elevator rises. And you see above you Aria coming into sight. Like, there it is, how pretty. As you slowly once again get lighter and lighter and lighter. Da -da 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 -da. As you... Zero? You two all right? Uh, yeah, sure. All right. I'm just and she, that she'd give a little. She'd give a little, a little smile as she looks around the party. This is very fitting for space travel. Mm -hmm. and as... I want to commit as as we as we like go up towards the planet. I just want to like <clears> look <throat> up at it and and just fold my arms and like. <sighs> I want to commit this to memory. V's kind of like walks up beside you and kind of grabs you by the side of the arm. Just thanks. And she's just looking up at it too. And over the next, even, even, hmm? Whatever even, even Chef is looking, looking up at it. Like, I know you wanted to stay behind. They're, they're cool. It's just, you know. I, know. I do better with the ground. I am, you know. She brushes her ears back. After all. I, I just flex my wings. Wasn't born with them, but I'm a creature of the sky. Did that not loop? That should have looped. It is looping for me. Yeah. Huh. Gotta refresh mine. Um, you guys continue ascending up and ascending and ascending, and after about 10 or 15 minutes, it gets lighter. After about a half an hour, you're floating. And slowly gravity comes back the other way as you as you slowly overpower the centrifuge and start coming back down onto the planet. And over <laughs> another half an hour-ish, you find yourself slowing to a stop. The, earth, the ground comes up and you really, really fast and slow, 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 slow. Stops. <laughs> Unlocks, readjusts. <laughs> Gets to just the right height. <laughs> Doors open, doors open. Psh, step out. Lorenzo leads you out of the of the elevator. Well, I don't think I'm going to be forgetting that anytime soon. <laughs> I should hope not. It's the only one of its kind, and without any, with any luck, it won't be the last. Thanks to your help, this could turn back into a profitable venture again. Can be careful on the next time. <laughs> I give him a big grin with the be careful of your shipments next time. Yes, we, we will be double checking <laughs> everything else that goes back in. Uh, no more malicious cargo hopefully finds its way inside. Well, you know who to call if there is. <laughs> it's very much indeed. Uh, is there an easy way to contact you? This contract you would have picked up in Abaddon City. At this point, <laughs> any, of the, any of the royalty in any of the kingdoms except for you. We're based from Lolan. Lolan. Very well. They're traveling around a lot then. Yeah. I, say that. Almost the other side of the I planet. Just, I just flex the, the Bahamut. I had business in Evendon. Very well. That's beyond my business. Presumably summoner stuff then uh, with your, your pilgrimage then. Presumably you, you made a pact. Yeah. I know. A, a pact to be awesome. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish you well. Uh, it is quite a vessel, by the way, that you came in on. He gestures to the ship. We caught oh. it landing. It is beautiful. Indeed. That's how, we, that's how we've been getting around. I, I kind of assumed. Well, we will be in contact with you then. In the coming weeks. Thank you. Happy to help. Very much so. 
No. And happy to get paid. <laughs> and she walks out with bottles off. of champagne and fucking sacks of gold. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> to the ship. We have our own party to throw. Come on, guys. Right. And you all yeah. wander back. After a few moments, you find your way back on the gangplank. You work your way up, out to the edge of the ship, and your crew is there. And they they all wait await eagerly for the story as you all are covered in in spider blood. Yeah. I drop the indication uh, before we reach. Yeah. I think we could say that, you know, we sit around the mess hall and just tell the story while people are okay. drinking and shit. And as as you all work your way downstairs, you begin telling this incredible tale of going up to a mining platform that is outside of the planet and fucking fighting these spiders then fighting bigger spiders then fighting a way bigger spider as you've handled now medium huge and gargantuan creatures in one dungeon also uh no one's gonna ask them i don't suppose either of you have been in this area before have you who who, who are you asking like the whole crew uh, yeah they they kind of all glance around between each other they kind of like nervously look down I kind of look back no. up. You saw an interesting message on a crate up there. <laughs> look around. Eventually, Ben pipes up. Yeah, we uh, we 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 kind of had a suspicion there that something like that might be going on. Um, there, we we moved a large crate with some sort of animal in it uh, under under Garland's orders, and presumably he released it somewhere in this section of the world. That would have been. A while Not ago. on the world. I thought your your uh, organization's original goal was the Four Kingdoms. Why have it all the way out here? Um, Garland and O'Hare had a lot of ideas. Uh, I always got the impression the Four Kingdoms was for something more. I, I didn't understand it, really. They never really shared it. That's in the past now. You just were doing what you were told. Yeah, we we had no idea it was even here that it ended up getting you, set. Uh, you were under orders. It's fine. I don't blame you. Well, at least we handled it in-house then. As ben kind of glances around at the rest of the crew and there's a couple of nods. <sighs> Which does remind me. We should rebrand, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I almost had a slip of the tongue and told them to call Dreadnought if they need help. <laughs> <laughs> call Dreadnought if you need anything. Wait. Yeah. Hopefully that crate would have been, you know, jettisoned into space for the dramatic camera pan of the reveal at the end of the episode. Who done it? Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's the slow motion to like the songs of Johnny Cash, just fucking Empire of Dirt, like. Camera pans up, you see these, like, dang, like, call, like... Like the crate, the mm -hmm. crate and all the junk just floating in space, and it just turns Does and it goes up to the turn, camera, yeah. and dreadnought, and mm -hmm. it floats away yeah. as the song intensifies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I had an idea on the way down. But part of it, I would require... God's assistance will mm -hmm. because I would put forward whatever the word conviction is in Celestial. Whatever the word conviction is in Celestial. Yeah. Okay. Um, you you say it and it sounds beautiful and then God has to fuss that out here real quick. But we could we can discuss that out of session. We discuss mm -hmm. it out. Of yeah. yeah, but that's and... just what yeah. she would say to bring forward like there's 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 a moment where a few of the crew are like yeah 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 and for for reasons that perhaps you can't even pin down eleanor that kind of resonates with you oh. <laughs> head tilt <clears throat> we can we can talk business later as i put two bottles of champagne down on the table <laughs> you still hold one up of the them one one of them, the third one, with a little blue ribbon tied near the top, slid over to Koke and Vise. Oh. <laughs> I 
I got 30 foot of it. I gotta use it up somehow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, takes it. Mm -hmm. And you, you're looking over these these uh, bottles. They appear to have this, like, you, where you expect, like, a champagne, like, cage with, like, the cork. These have, like, a big ol' heavy end on them. Where you just look at them like, what the fuck? And there's a set of clasps and they pop just like a, a bottle, but it looks like the... The restraint on it was a little bit more severe. <laughs> <sighs> they had to survive a lower pressure getting there and getting back. And we're built for that. As you as you all take upon your space wine and you party in the airship and <laughs> Vis and Koke have their own sort of party. Um <laughs> we'll call the session there. For today. All right. I feel like everyone's already getting pretty tired. It is also mm -hmm. late. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so we will see everyone again for another wherever the hell this adventure is going to keep going next week. Um, for now, this was Final Fantasy Pathfinder. Thanks for sticking with us. Bye. See ya. Good night. <laughs>